She-Hulk Attorney at Law's first trailer explained. Marvel Studios unveiled the first teaser trailer for their next She-Hulk movie, She-Hulk Attorney at Law. Marvel Studios' efforts to bring new Marvel Cinematic Universe characters to the small screen, such as Moon Knight and Ms. Marvel, will continue with the Disney Plus series created by Jennifer Gale. Jennifer Walters, the character that Tatiana Maslany, Orphan Black, brings to life, is an intelligent attorney who, like her cousin Bruce Banner, exhibits Hulk-like abilities. Mark Ruffalo Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at the She-Hulk Attorney at Law's first trailer explained. Yeah, you heard it right, so let's get started with our video. The teaser opens with a brief scene of the cityscape of Los Angeles, followed by a voiceover from Bruce Banner, who addresses Jennifer and waxes poetic about how difficult the road to becoming a superhero is. If people aren't going to protect the Earth like you, then who will? It is possible to get a glimpse of some of Banner's obstacles, such as a catastrophic vehicle accident, a swarm of glow-light supermarines, an assault on socialites that causes them to flee in terror, and members of criminal organizations like the Wrecking Crew. We will do everything in our power to include all of the extended scenes from Marvel Comics in this video. The title card for Marvel Studios quickly brings us to Jennifer Walters' daily routine. She works as a pro lawyer for Goodman, Lieber, Kurtzberg, and Holloway. GLK-H, and has been charged with becoming the face of the new superhuman law division, a position she characterizes as demanding, and one that we saw seeds of in programs like Daredevil and Jessica Jones. One of the superheroes Jennifer meets in her new work is Emil Blonsky, better known as the Abomination, Tim Roth. In 2008, Abomination fought Banner in the Incredible Hall, and he made an unexpected cameo in Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings last year. The present home of the Abomination is a huge, futuristic super prison. It's not the Raft. We've seen it before, and it won't happen again. Other comic book super prisons exist, but it's most likely not the Cube, a prison for alien convicts. The Big House, an institution for shrunken offenders, is unlikely to exist. The Vault is one conceivable option. Wong, Benedict Wong, sparred with Abomination in a Maku fight club in Shang-Chi, only for Wong to give him fighting advice while guiding him through a portal to the same jail cell shown in the She-Hulk trailer. How does that timeline look? Will Wong make an appearance in these episodes? Blonsky's importance in this story is uncertain. Only time will tell. <laughs> Jennifer is recognized for having friends with big personalities, but maintaining a modest, unassuming, by-the-book demeanor, apart from having a demanding new occupation. By the way, her cousin is none other than the Incredible Hulk. According to the official series description, Jennifer gains her Hulk abilities after receiving a blood transfusion from Bruce, perhaps due to the earlier automobile accident. Jennifer describes her family's position as frustrating, while smart Hulk Banner attempts to teach her about gamma radiation while on vacation in the Caribbean. According to Banner, Jennifer's transformations are triggered by anger and fear, so he traps her in a laboratory saw blade death trap, forcing her to morph and it works. Enraged by her cousin's heinous methods, She-Hulk smashes through the saw blade wall and tears off the door. As we watch them jumping and bounding across the beach later, Jennifer warms up to Bruce's teaching technique, although his waking her up with an air horn may add to the tension. Jennifer would want to be just another anonymous lawyer, but her dual identity has earned her superstar notoriety. Going to work in her green form gets the attention of her co-workers, but before long, television crews are knocking on her door, wanting She-Hulk. Her closet friend, Nikki Ginger Gonzaga, cautions her that you're a story now, meaning she has gone viral on the internet. Jennifer avoids the spotlight while She-Hulk attends red carpet events and poses for photos. Jennifer seems more daring, much as in the books. She laughs at the prospect of becoming an Avenger, much alone a superhero. There's no billionaires, narcissists, or orphaned adults. Despite her hostility, the trailer makes it appear that Jennifer's powers and heroism come as a package deal, with a rapid-fire montage of some of the show's costumed opponents. We see many shadowy-looking people with different weapons early in the video. A crowbar, a hook, and a crossbow? They are most likely the Wrecking Crew, a band of criminals armed with a magical crowbar. These villains are related to Thor, yet they fought practically every hero in the Marvel Universe. It's conceivable that the magical aspect of their history will be toned down to accommodate She-Tone and Hulk. But if that occurs, there'll be no match for Jennifer. 
Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comments section how today's video was. I hope that you found this one interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.